siku ya leo tuko na wasichana wawili ambao tulikuwa rescue on Friday walikuwa wamekeketwa kutoka Mwino nikapigiwa simu na DC kwamba kuna wasichana wawili ambao wamekeketwa na mzazi ya mmoja wao alikuwa amekuwa pia arrested so tukaletewa Port Mgals on Friday ya wasichana na tukawapokea na tukawapeleka hospitali wakatibiwa tukawakana wao mpaka Monday mpaka Monday juzi baba tuliwapeleka kotini na tukachukulia hapa na DC tukawapeleka kotini alafu on the same Monday tukaambiwa turudishe hao wakuje kwa this rescue center ama safe house ambayo tuko nayo Port Mgals vile mnaona hiyo ijao kweli 12 years old na ile mambo ambayo amepitia ile uh, kukeketwa hata ni is very sad singe hata mimi singeonelea kama ingekuwa wazo nzuri kurudisha kule nyumbani hata hao wenyewe wanasema wangetaka kurudi kule nyumbani kwa sababu kwa hiyo siku chache ambapo tumekuwa na hapa wameza ku, kutuelezea ama kutuadithia <coughs> sababu ambayo iliyofanya wakaenda kukeketwa we are saying we had to accommodate those girls who have been forced into FGM because we are starting a rescue center and our starting point was that we had some girls in, even in our own schools far much back who were having same similar problems so we were giving them free accommodation and uh, of course education and some have become very successful so that is why we have felt we should have room for more girls to be given a chance to go to school and actually the cases we have had here some are very pathetic because there was a, once a girl who had uh, uh, reached class 7 and the brother had done class 8. So the, the parent wanted her to get married also that they could get fees for, for the boy. So we felt it is so, so bad for the girl child. And that is why whenever they come to report to us, we have been giving them room to stay here because the government is giving us the low cost. So we don't insist that the parent pays in the subsistence, but we just accommodate them until they finish. And uh, luckily, sometimes when they finish, they get scholarship, like with the equity, and we also have the African Nazarene University, they sponsor some. So that has given us the energy to keep on accommodating the girls.